Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Niche Strategy and Tactics Episode 6. So, um, when we last left our tribe, we, uh, we had, um, I'd say a near-perfect specimen, uh, born here. Um, which we, um, is going to be very important to us because today I've made the executive decision. Today we begin preparations to migrate. Our tribe is 30 members strong and they're all doing just fine. I mean, even except for the ones that I kind of intentionally uh, rail up against the dangers of this, of this world, but still, they're doing fine. It is clear that our, our tribe here has evolved successfully to adapt to this island. But this is just the beginner island. This is just the easy island. Well, one of the easy islands. And one cannot stay in the cradle forever. That would not make for a, a good strategy and tactic series. We must challenge ourselves. We must seek new islands with new challenges and new dangers. But... That being said, no reason to go charging off half-cocked. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you some tips about uh, preparing for the journey. The preparation for the journey starts, I would say, when you start breeding, well, pretty much the best of the best that you can get in a given area, given the available, um, you know, uh, things to interact with and genes to unlock. Um, so, uh, so, like I said, the birth of Our Lady in Red here um, is uh, is one such thing. Now, one thing you need to take stock of, think of migrating as preparing for a trip. Now, in order to prepare, we need to know, well, you know what? We got to pack. In this case, instead of our bags, we need to pack our pack members. Ha, huh? get it? But pack? Never, never mind. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to plan out how many can you bring along. And actually, before you even think of that, you need to make the decision, where the heck are we going? Um, now, there are a number of different rules uh, that uh, the way the game handles traveling and how it determines... Um, what the heck died all the way out there? Uh, how it determines uh, where you're going. And that is through the cardinal directions here. We started the game down here. This is considered the south. Um, now, when it comes to the... Uh, if you want to go uh, east here, this will take you to a different type of map, but on the same difficulty level. So if we wanted to, for example, uh, go to another easy map, but maybe a different flavored easy map, this would be the place we went. Um, now, if you want to go to an easier map, um, a, a lower difficulty level, uh, maybe you uh, went to a, an island that was a bit over your head and you don't want to lose the whole tribe, escaping to the west would be the way to do it for you. Um, since we're already on the easy level of difficulty, I'm not entirely sure where this di direction would take us. However, the final choice you have is to go north. Uh, north will take you to the next difficulty level up to a random island within that uh, distinction. So that would, for us, that would be a medium island. Now, one thing to take note of here is the limited number of teleportation spaces here. We can only bring five tribe members because once you have one of them interact with the tra uh, with the stone here, it will take anybody on here and nobody else. All the other tribe members will be left behind, presumably to just fend for themselves and, and uh, probably just continue flourishing since we already know they can handle this place just fine. So what we need to do is we need to pick and breed and carefully select who our five migrants are going to be. Ideally, you want a balance of genders, uh, either... Uh, uh, well, ideally, probably three females, two males, but uh, three males, two females would not be the end of the world either. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that not only are your candidates uh, strong, but that you're bringing your entire, entire pr uh, portfolio of immunity genes with you. See, when we started our game, we had two founders. Um, one had the AB gene, 
the other had the CD gene. Um, and over time, we have picked up um, the F gene and the I gene uh, for immunity. And we want to make sure that we bring all six immunity genes with us. That gives us the most flexibility when it comes to repopulating the new island and also keeping our genetic diversity, well, diverse. Uh, so we need to carefully select who our migrants are going to be. Now, obviously, we started here um, with this lady in, our lady in red, so she is going to be migrant number one. Now, I was going through, looking through, and I found another counterpart down here. Uh, no, not, not you, Dat Boy. Cuckoo. Cuckoo, a male, has some pretty darn good stuff to their name, too. They don't, instead of having a claw, they have a runner leg, but that's still not bad. And they have two more unique immunity genes, the I and the D. That sounds good to me. Um, so that only leaves B and C. We need to find a creature that has a B, C. Now, uh, Dana. Dana here has a C, B, or B, C. Doesn't matter what order they are. So he would definitely be a consideration. My only fear is he's a bit older than them. So he's, he's likely to, to pass on. Uh, but I might have Dana come, come with. Um, the other option is to very quickly breed up a C, B. Or at least try to. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, Cora here, Miss uh, Miss uh, Ogre here, Miss Double Paw, um, has uh, has the C gene. So we want to find a male that has the B gene, just at the very least to get a chance of breeding up a C B baby with really good stats. Um, well, first things first, just are there birds in the sky? I don't care. I'm keeping, I am keeping uh, a guardian next to our uh, uh, lady in red here. Well, mama, oh, actually here, you. Gotta make room, little one. Mama's gonna come over here. And this one, B and F. Um... So these two not only have 0% chance to make an inbred baby, but also have uh, a chance to make a CB baby, which is what we're looking for. So I think that is... Oops. Okay, well, uh, looks like he's going to be doing the, the, uh, the mate action here. All right. Um, and yeah, so... Number two here, here, we're going to make sure you're an alpha as well. Not that I think we're going to run into food shortages. Uh, you know what? I think uh, it would make sense for Dana to come through, but it, it, we want to see what, uh, uh, what, what, who is born over here. Uh, Cola, you need to help us stock up on food. So, yeah. Uh, you taking damage, I'm perfectly okay with that. Oh yeah, you're pregnant with the with the garbage baby. Now, one other uh, step to prepping for your trip is you need to carve a path. Um, because by the time these babies are up and ready to go, they need to start making their way over. If it takes them too long, they'll be old by the time they get here and... You know, you want to have them as young as possible while still being adults. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start clearing a path. Um, cutting a swath of uh, materials here um, to make it easier for the whole pack to, well, make their, make their way over here. And because they, again, as long as they can see their way through... Um, they, uh, they can move a lot faster. So our focus right now, besides chomping on this bunny. Where's the bunny? Is going to be clearing, um, clearing brushways. And I think we're going to go looping around here. Oh. Friendly bear hyena, eh? Oh, sure, why not? Now, befriending a friendly bear hyena, um, they, uh, 
they're they're you can't control them. They're not really part of your pack. Sienna, oh, poor thing. You know, you're just going to eat a rabbit. Did we just really just tank two rabbits there? Okay then. Now let me think if there's any other, you know, Dana. Dana, you could you you could use a little love in Dana uh, with uh, with your BC genes. Maybe if we don't necessarily take you, but take someone else um, who uh, who might be able to. Let's see, FD, Masiko, uh, well, you're not, I, I want to take uh, or breed with someone who's um, uh, toxic body here. Now you, what do you got? You got claw, runner leg, hey, you know what, you're not too bad. There we go, FA, CB. Well, we're not going to get a CB baby because it's it, it it takes one from each parent, but it's close enough. We'll keep uh, our spiky body here. Now, again, spiky body, Silas, um, you're, you're she's our only source of spiky body, um, and the originator of the I gene. Um, but iffy, kind of iffy fertility. Um, it might be worthwhile to breed her again. Um, again, we want to... Uh... Oh, what the heck, Daniel? You're gonna uh, you're gonna be getting lucky here. Not Daniel, Dana. All right. Meanwhile, everybody else who has a move, see how much further they can go once the brush has been cleared. You're kind of trapped over here. But everybody else is pretty much going to be making their way northwards. Uh, making sort of a conga line of, uh, of creatures and, more importantly, eyesight. Because by clearing those out... Oh, you know, uh, strength not high enough, yeah. It might behoove us to just knock out this. Oh crap, we left the baby alone! Phew! Almost lost you there. Uh, yeah, Dat Boy. I mean, Dat Boy's not bad, but again, a little bit older. We, we are breeding up our migrants right now. Uh, Relasi shouldn't be too bad. And again, the other thing we want to do is stock up on food. Because we, you take all the food that you have with you. Um, but we're devouring food at a rate of 30 per turn. Uh, so we need to keep up on that. Uh, you, my friend, uh, just eat. Poison berries, get us some food. What is. Do you have. Do you have any sort of a. No, you don't have enough attack. Oh, peep of meat. Uh, meme 2.0? Uh. Yeah, no. Sorry, meme. If you uh, survive, you, then you're fine. But otherwise, eh. Not high enough strength. All right, who else we got? Oh, you. You're all the way over here. Um, I've already hit that. Uh, I'll probably have you go along the shoreline here, see if we can find some other goodies like bunnies and shells and other stuff. All right, that's everybody. Yeah, lots of well, births and deaths. Let's see what we got here. Nurk, 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 nurk. A B. No, not bad. 
We got the bee there. We got the nimble fingers. They got the toxic body. So it's pretty darn good. A B is not bad. Uh, now, do you have something with a C? You do, and you're female. Dang it! If you were if you were female, we would be perfect. Because right now, our lady in red. It, right now, it's just a sausage party. With our lady in red being the only real female that we're going to be taking with us um, at the moment. You really could have used... You re, uh, three males, two females would have been fine. But no, you had to be a male too. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we need some better females. Do we take the do we take the ogre? I mean, she's she's older, but she's still darn good. Well, here, let's move our lady in red out. And I think we're going to have these two breed again cuz they seem to be making pretty good uh babies. If I don't get another one um, with this next generation, then... Um, oh, yeah. And she is Preggers, so she'll plop one out. Uh, and do we have any other attempts at... Uh... Oh, hi. Give us food. Yum. Nutcracker sweet. Okay, you're gonna give birth, uh, Dana. Why don't you help uh, help carve us a path? You'll you might be left behind, my friend, but you're still gonna be pretty viable here. All right, now we have this whole pack right here ready to go. We'll probably plow through there. Yeah, go this way. Hmm. All right, we'll uh, sidestep here. Just, yeah, sidestep along here. Clear this pathway. Again, we're making just a singular pathway so that everybody can make their way over. Okay. Meanwhile, anybody else who can will uh, harvest more food, just so we keep our stocks up, up. Even if it kills ya. Now you, you need to get down here and uh, getting us some toxic berries. Oh yeah, Cora is going to give birth. Relasi can help with the uh, with the F actually with the food gathering efforts here. We'll we'll knock out this bush when the babies are ready to migrate. Yeah, these guys are kind of blocking the way. So we are going to need to whack some of these, or just clear out this brush here and go around them. Alright, we got that, got that. Wait, it's just like this little perimeter defense of poisonberry bushes. Yeah, just, just start, keep clearing, clearing stuff out. Surprised we're not getting more nest materials out of all this. Oh, there you are, Mr. Bear Hyena. Uh, well, our toxic body people aren't really over here. Um, what's your attack? Not really good enough to bother with him. Not gonna fuss over the Bear Hyena. And most of our migrants are gonna be toxic bodies, so I don't think they're going to get intercepted. All right, you're going to plop out on the nest. That's fine. Uh, you are, you're, yeah, no, we're not, you're, you're not taking damage. 
you can you can clear these out. Oh yeah, you're all the way down here. No, down here, up here. Now we can get the rabbit. All right, I think that's everybody. Plop. Oh, hi there. Um, would you care to speak into the mic uh, microphone there, Mr. Bear Hyena? Go ahead, deal with this uh, the sque this uh, the the spiky body here. All right, what do we got here? All right, good, a female. I B. Um. I D. All right, yeah, we got the B. Uh, we got the C. Nuclear here. Okay, I think you know what. I think we're in good shape. Uh, let's go get Ogre over here to do what Ogre does best. And that's F some some bear hyena S up. Yeah, he's not too happy right now. Heck, we can even have little Meme get in on the action. Splat. And Meme, le le meme uh, lands the killing blow. Good for 10 food. Okay, so Cuckoo is going to be our first migrant. Uh, our Lady in Red, Raris, is our next migrant. So we've got one male, one female. This is female number two once she ages up enough. Um, this is going to be male number two. Nukir here. And uh, male number three, Nukaduk. Um, because, yeah, I think he's getting yeah, nimble, got all the good stuff. So Nukaduk is, uh, is going to be number three here. So I think we have our migration party. A good, robust set of genes, uh, immunities, uh, and other fun stuff. So now all we really need to do now is just, you know, continue clearing a path for them. And also harvesting up more food. Oh, hi. Would you like to take a bite? I don't think you'll like it very much. Is that bunny under her? Yep. Okay. Free food. Home delivery. How convenient. All right. Yeah, the... Boy, this place is swarming with bear hyenas. Not that I'm worried about it. Like I said, all of our uh, all of our little ones are toxic bodies. And bear hyenas ain't going to be touching that. Um, you know what? Here, let's go and nosh some... Berries. Do like a little leapfrog action here. Or bunny murder action here. Oop, someone's got a leech. The unmistakable splorch of a leech. And we got some railroading issues here. Who has high enough attack to clear this out? All right, let's get uh, let's get you up here so that you can start feasting on these uh, poison berries. Not gonna bother with the damn um, the these things. They just they they are actually the the one thing that we don't want um, because they they take up space, they block the way, and they make noise when you attack them that attracts more of themselves. So they would just become a log jam essentially. And oh, you're not the one with the leech. Curious. No 
clams. Ooh, fish. Well, I don't know if you can... Alright, you're down here. You're the one with the leech. <laughs> Who cares? We'll just keep clawing away. And our lady in red will continue advancing northwards. Let me just make sure we're not uh, leaving any valuable babies out, uh, out in the open. All right, Kirk Dirk. What's your attack, Kirk Dirk? Not, not terribly impressive, but you know what? Oh wait, that's the friendly one. Oops, sorry. Well, now I just feel bad. Oh, wait, who's watching the baby? Crap. The uh. Our stranger here is not going to be really counted on to watch the baby properly. Alright, fine, we'll watch the baby. I need some berries. Seiko. Yeah, I mean, Seiko, you're... How are you doing, Seiko? CD. You're... You've got pretty much everything going for you, except for the toxic body. And a little bit of a lower fertility. Uh... But you're... You're old. Compared to... to compared to our travelers. Alright. What did we lose? Well, I don't think we lost any travelers, but, uh... Alright, I think it is time for this guy to, uh... Um, uh, be taught a little bit of a lesson. And Seiko, actually, you're pretty powerful here, so... Splat. That's more like it. Okay. All right, so you... Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Time to die. Who's got a really high attack here? I do not want a rogue male uh, loading up one of our... Uh, one of our travelers, uh, if they hit adulthood along the way. Yeah, you run away, you little bastard. Okay, um... Yeah, you just keep hitting up these, uh, berry bushes here. Our travelers continue northwards. Now, the thing about them is, um... No matter how good of a path that we carve for them, they have limited movement specifically because we bred them to not have runner legs. Um, so there may be a little bit of... Uh, oh, you little bastard. Get out of the way. I'm not offering you five food. Okay, that's one way to uh, clear the way. Alright, so once again, taking stock here, we've got these two, these two, male, female, male, female, and then I'm still deciding. I think it is Nukir was our... Eh, no, not, not Nukir, not, not, not a runner-runner. Who was our... Actually, it might have been... Uh, no, not Meme. Not Kara. 
Who was our last baby? Was it was it Releasey? Yeah, Re oh yeah, Releasey was no. Releasey has the velvet paw. And I'm not too keen on the velvet paw. Oh, here's one thing we can do. These tree stumps um, will give you enhanced vision around them, which is kind of exactly what we want here. Right, who in the world was going to be our last traveler? She's one, not meme. Well, maybe we can get up here and, and birth a traveler. Yeah, Kirk Turk is good except for, let's see, CD, IB. It's not too bad, actually. All said and done. Almost couldn't mate with them there. All right. We got we to gotta keep uh, clearing ground here. Now there is something to be said with, depending on how long it takes us to get our travelers to their destinations, um, possibly impregnating them um, before they leave, because they that that they keep with them. The Sam Heck is oh, it's just a it's a bear barrier bush, huh? Yeah, just because it's a little barrier here. We'll just go around it. That's fine. And you guys just keep on harvesting up them berry bushes. Well, look at this. Meals on wheels. Didn't even have to move for it. Oh, she's only got a little bit of a collecting skill. Oh, yeah. Can't forget to eat that. Let's see. We could, uh, yeah, let's actually, let's move some people back over to our little, where is our dream berry bushes? Here they are. Which they still have not, sadly, regrown. Sadness upon sadness. Alright, I think we're good. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, um... Let's see, B, D, no, uh, no poison body, but a big body. Hmm, potentially useful. Short-sighted eyes, though, not a fan. No horns, not a fan. Sorry. All right, since pretty much the rest of this is just us shuffling up the little ones, uh, I think I'm gonna drop a fast forward here. So I'll see you guys on the flip side.
Okay, we're getting really close here, but I seem to have misplaced one of my pack members, uh, or rather one of the migrants that I was intending to, um, to uh, migrate over here. Um, I could have sworn we had another another one coming up the pipeline, um, although I, th now I can't seem to remember. Or was it was it new gear? Yeah, it's new gear. I, I I was moving the wrong one. Nuclear can catch up. So it's nuclear. Um, nuclear, Nurk Turk. We're, we're gonna need. We're gonna rename them once they get there, because I'm never gonna keep track of these names. Uh, Raris and Kurtu. Yeah, here you you you're beating them here, so might as well. Jeez, oh, you're taking so much damage. Splat. <laughs> All right, Raris. Yeah, we gotta move some move some peeps out of the way. So our first couple has arrived. Um. And we got a B, so there's our B gene. Um, could have sworn we had a C D. Are you Marcy? You're F C. So we got the B, we got the C, and then we got the others uh, uh, along for the ride. And yeah, we're just trying to top off our food here. Not too concerned. With oh hi there, well, another spiky ugly, but a little bit too little, a little bit too late. Hey, we might as well go uh, nut cracking. Ah, uh, Cora, I I would love to take you along, but you're just a bit too old for us. Um, you're doing, you were a great breeder though. Great, uh, I think mother to a whole bunch of them. All right. Um, so yeah, let's advance time one more time. I know this episode's going a little bit long, but I have a specific goal in mind. Okay. Oh, and hey, well, oh wait, no, you can't go fishing because you don't have claws. Uh, Cuckoo does not have claws. Lady in Red has claws. Lady in Red will go fishing. I don't want to send her any deeper. I do not want her to take drowning damage. Well, she can wait for the others. I also need to patrol the area for rogue males. Make sure we do not have any unwanted pregnancies. All right, you, I, we got to clear a path here. Make way, creature coming through. So this will be one, two, three. Three males, one female. What happened to our other other star female? Did she did she get ninjured by a bear hyena? Or did I just misplace her? Runner runner. I be runner runner? Not the best, but not bad either. Or was this her? Runner claw, but no, no. Yeah, let's let's take those running legs and start running. Yeah, we'll clear out some of this bush brushwork here. Dodging and weaving here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think it was Kirk Dirk. I'm sure somebody in the comments will will point out, hey, Pinstar, uh, it was supposed to be this, this, this dudette. But we do need... Was it was supposed to be Reese? Reese, Velvet Paw. I'm not too. I'm not too. Ha I'm not too keen on the Velvet Paw. Truth be told, not Seiko. Too old. Not Raisala. Too too old. Male. We need a female. It needs to be a female. And yeah, she's already, well, she's too old and she's loaded up with a rogue male's baby. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking of, of potentially doing. Is, um, get her up here. Um, and plop out one last baby up, like, up here at the north. Um, because she seems to be pretty good at making them. Maybe we'll get lucky with a female. Yeah, continue clearing this stuff away. Oh yeah, you're pregnant, aren't you? Yeah, you plop one out. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Just barely made it. Uh, B oh, a BC. Uh, cracker. Oh, no, not derp. Uh, derp snout. Medium body. Inactive spiky. I'll give you that. Runner, nimble. Uh, I mean, you got the ram horns, but nah. All right, contestant number two. Oh, who got impregnated? Who got loaded up? All right, well, at least it wasn't her. Yeah, Anania, I think, might be our, our candidate here. I be... Good stuff. Good stuff all around. Uh. So you just keep rocketing to the moon here. Was it Nuke here? I don't think it was Nuke here. Well, no, it can't be Nuke here because that would be a fourth male. And that would be unhelpful. Nurk Dirk. Where is this rogue male? What is with all the impregnantations? As long as it's not up here. As long as it's, uh... Yep. One, two, three, and then two more. Contestant number here. And, oh yeah, you're, you're up next here. Oh, hey, I actually got some bottom feeding foods. <laughs> so, oh, do we want to we want to load her up already? We can do that. I'm not going to have her give birth just yet, but we can load her up, uh, save the action points. A, F versus A, B. Okay, no. Nuke gear, however. Um, or Cuckoo. Yeah, she can mate with either of these. Uh, just not, just not him. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, and I need to, to, uh, continue noshing food here just to keep up my supply so I have plenty to bring to the new island. Uh, that's the rogue male. It's loading everybody up. Yeah, sorry, no. He's got the scrawny body, though. Uh, 
Uh, who's got the, who's got a cracker jaw? Oh, Dana. Dana's got cracker jaw. You got some goodies to eat, Dana. All right. I think we're in a good place now. Yeah, our population is starting to dwindle a little bit, but again, we can only take five, so we're going to go from this many down all the further. Okay, we're here. We have arrived. Our uh, colorful explorers have all made the journey. Um, well, you know what? Let's spend action points um, um, impregnating. Uh, we're going to want to do a diverse impregnation here. Uh, although I'm still having... Is there a young female? Yeah, that's a young female. A derptastic young female. I don't know, I still want... I still think the, the ratio is a little bit stronger if it's th uh, two males and three females. But everyone over here is, uh, yeah, they're, they're all a bit too old. So, you know what? We're going to go with this. We're going to go with this set of travelers. We'll have enough breeding, extra breeding females soon enough. All right. So I B F C. Okay. Boom. Oh yeah, now you... Load you up. And... It's time to say goodbye to our... The rest of our tribe, the rest of our island. It has served us well, but it is time to leave the cradle. So, in our next episode, we will get to see what our new island is going to be like. So, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So, until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!